So, Equestria Girls, it's been a long time since I've put your franchise under my analytical microscope. Let's see how things turn out and hopefully it's a lot shorter than what came before. I've noticed fairly recently that there aren't any videos within the fandom and looking at the multitude of Equestria Girls shorts that have been released on Hasbro's channels over the years because apparently no one cares for them. If you search for the top 10 or best Equestria Girls shorts, it just links you back to the shorts themselves, generating a lot of ad revenue for the parent company. So realizing there was a gap in the market, I wanted to find out which ones were the best. However, due to the fact that there are 58 of the damn things at the time of recording this, I cannot analyze them all in depth because I'd be here all day and take up too much time that I don't currently have at this moment. So I decided to take a page out of the Jello Apocalypse book and make this immensely easy by summarizing them all in 10 words or less. And there'll be no best or worst because it would have gone to 20 minutes, not the seven or so that this currently highlights. All will be assigned a straight letter grade, none of this plus or minus BS, and my frank abbreviated opinion will follow with it. So, without further ado, with all the fine songs, fabulous outfits, and funny scenarios at hand, let's get cracking. Does more for DJ Pony than the show ever did. Why wasn't this in the film? It would have been awesome! Tambourines are evil, Fluttershy has hamster slaves. Pass it on. How can Rainbow be so dense here? A piano without wheels? Who the hell designed that? With those awesome bass skills, the Rainbooms should diversify genres. Regardless of the fun visuals, the song's still boring. Twy can sing here, but not in the film. Explain. Derpy is Discount Sunshim. You can't unsee that, can you? Best human gets best song. Nothing more to say. This is fantastic! Why wasn't it in the goddamn film? This would have been out of place in friendship games. Pinky's eccentricities have their limits. This exceeds it. Being overly dramatic makes some amazing comedy when done right. I want more photo finish in the main show, please. Highlighting male characters as stereotypes? Pop painting the kettle black. Applejack proving she knows nothing. Did we need a reminder? Photo finish once again proves why her one-dimensional character works. Fun and lively, but empty all things considered. Rehashing Fluttershy's greatest season one moment? Lazy writing. I love Psy Twy. There's no way I'd hate this. The mundane song can't hide how painfully relatable this is. Gummy isn't real. What the hell is life? Celestia, this is why you have substitutes on standby. Candidate for best Applejack song ever made? Hell yes. How did all that paint make something so bland? Great way to make the CMCs work in this universe. Visualization is the real winner here. Rainbow Dash rapping makes up for the song's irritating presence. What you consider embarrassing really is inconsequential compared to many. A song this annoying shouldn't work. Also, Pinky looks adorable. Smile, put on face. Dare I say more? Finally, something that proves Maud's personality does have flaws. Dense and lacked subtlety, but Fluttershy's revenge line was awesome. Adorable, but quite grating. I can't win with this one. The only good thing to take from this, Trixie plays O and O. World building in a Zephyr cameo? This rules. Fun song, good use of pace, still underwhelmed against logic. Adorable, predictable, and sickly. Shouldn't have had my hopes up. Adorable as hell, but equally cringy. What more to say? Good luck keeping Sunset's graffiti art secret under wraps, Rarity. Fluttershy vs. Trixie? The main show wouldn't give that a chance. Creative, stylized, and fun. What these shorts need to be. Highly coincidental, but funny as hell. Not bad at all. Word to the wise. Wasabi is hot as balls. Lovely and funny. These beach shorts continue to be awesome. What are they gonna do with all that stuff they found? Who the hell dresses crabs literally? In all seriousness! Being funny and dramatic while parodying is a good combination. This makes PPOV's attempt at nautical escapades look like crap. Why is Fluttershy nervous about surfboarding while wearing a wetsuit? Further proof Applejack's hat in water defies logic and science. 
Another example of why I love this franchise and Sightwipe. Rainbow broke the fourth wall in this. How? The short's finished article made up for the protracted build-up. The best of Pinky's positive character on show. Love it. Equestria Girls handles AJ's songs way better than the main show. Fluttershy's first solo musical number? All in all, pretty good stuff. So there you have it. There's my, albeit frank and short, opinions on the Equestria Girls shorts at the time of recording, because there could be more by the time this goes out. Who knows? So what are your opinions on this? Do you think these shorts are worth your time or are completely negligible and forgettable? Well, put your opinions down there in the comment section. I'd be glad to read and reply to them. And of course, if you want to see more MLP and Equestria Girls content just like this, then click the like, share and subscribe button to show your support. It will be gladly appreciated. I have been Freddy Thomas. You've been people watching. This has been the Equestria Girls shorts in 10 words or less video for the CC Network. And I will see you all next time.